What's going on guys? Today I'm going to take a stab at making a wooden crankshaft for a model engine. Something I've messed around with before but the quality didn't turn out quite the way I wanted to. And so I'm going to try it again. Hopefully be able to do it a little bit better. Plus I got some nicer tools now and I got a nice long bit. That was really the thing that was holding me up last time. But I'm going to start doing some layout and machine this sucker. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough room on this piece of wood to do what I wanted to do. And so if we're doing quarter inch journals and quarter inch webs, I went ahead and converted everything already for everybody. We have 4.1 inches total. So all the journals add up to 1.75 and all the web adds up to inch and a half. So that means with the flywheel, I'm gonna call that little round guy a flywheel. With the flywheel and the output shaft, I have 0.85 or 21 millimeter which should be enough. I'm just not sure that this is gonna be real tough, but fortunately I'm not planning on doing any towing or anything with this engine. Uh, it's really just a toy, so if it doesn't work out, I'm not gonna be all that upset. I suppose in this process, the how is pretty important. So what I did is I went and cut a head off of a screw and we're gonna just chuck this up into the old lathe here. And then for any centric features, we're gonna just send, put it in that middle right there. And for the other, for the rod journals, we're gonna put it in one of these two holes and mill it out that way. And so it's gonna be suspended on the other side. That's probably not the best way to do it, but if you work in the business, this is what you might call a shortcut. And so that's what we're gonna do. And we'll see if it works, you never know. You guys are probably starting to get the idea as to why the last one didn't have the highest quality in the world. <laughs> drag going on there but don't worry it won't last long well I'm kind of glad that I wasn't filming that whole thing because I had a couple of scary moments here most notably that one but I think we might still have enough meat there where I could just maybe throw a journal or I can make that part of it where uh, we need to cut out but the lathe is starting to complain a little bit but I say press on. If we're going to cut corners, we might as well keep cutting corners. Alright, so I'm not trying to place blame on anybody, but there was obviously some technical issues with the way things were being done. So I think this time we're going to cut one less corner. We're going to go ahead and support it on uh, both ends because that's the way lathes are supposed to work. And then we'll give this another shot because I'm not ready to quit. You know, I don't think I have any good reason not to be happy with this. Overall, the quality is really good, especially by comparison to the last one. I know that some of you guys might be intimidated because this seems like a big project and I used a CNC machine, but I wasn't actually using the computer function. I was just controlling it manually, so it was pretty much just a mill. But my last one I did, I just made various jigs and I used a router. And admittedly, that was a lot more of a pain in the ass in terms of setup, but it was actually easier because it was a more solid fixture. And so um, you can do just as good without a CNC machine. I just happened to use mine because I had it. That seems like a pretty good reason to me, I think. But I don't want this to intimidate you guys. I want you to, to try this project because it is quite a bit of fun and you can explore it however you want to. You can make all kinds of different cranks. It doesn't have to be this one. But... I think it'll be fun, give it a shot, and uh, maybe leave some feedback. And I'm looking for new ideas for videos, so guys, if you have something that you want to see me make, 
definitely shoot me a line, leave a comment or message me and I'll see you about making some cooler videos that you guys actually want to see. Anyway, guys, have a good night. Signing out.